To skip all the steps in this video and to avoid additional errors, consider getting the DLL fixer. You can start your free trial today from the link in the description. What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix msvcp 110dll Alright, so go to dllfiles.com and find the file. I'll provide a link in the description. Alright, and download the zip file right there. You can uh, extract it right at your desktop or wherever you'd like. And go to computer, find your hard drive, go to Windows, and find System32 and SysWow64. You're going to want to copy the file and drop it into both of those. So you can just paste it in here. And do the same with SysWow64. If you already have the file, it's going to ask you to copy and replace and just say yes. Alright, and that should be working for you. If not, there's one more thing you can do here. Go to CMD. Uh, for Windows 7 right there, I just type CMD and hit enter in the start menu. And type REGSVR32 and then the name of the DLL, MSVCP110.DLL and go ahead and hit enter. Alright, and that's it. It should be working now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video if it helped you and subscribe. If you want an easier solution or if it's still not working, watch to the end of the video. Alright, if you've watched the video and you're still having problems or you want an easier solution, then I'm going to help you out right now. Go to dllfiles.com, I'll provide a link in the description, and search for your DLL, I'm going to use xlive.dll as an example, and download xlive.dll with the fixer. Now this is, obviously you're going to download your DLL, and I'm going to take you through the install here. It's asking me to overwrite. I'm going to say yes, I do already have this file. And there you go, it was successfully installed. You don't have to do any of the steps, it does it for you. Now this only is going to work once because you only get one free install with the trial. Now if, when you get the full version, I'm going to show you right here, it's even easier. You can just search for your file, there it is, install like that. So I hope this helped you out a lot, and if it did, be sure to like the video. And thanks for watching.